Welcome to another episode of Swill and Grog's A Wonderful World of Beer. This time around I'm reviewing Cooper's Original Pale Ale, 4.5% alcohol by volume, brewed and bottled at the Cooper's Brewery in South Australia. Alright, what more can I tell you about uh, Cooper's Original Pale Ale? Well, it's been an awful long time since I've had it. Uh, I do remember it being quite good, but uh, yeah, that was uh, probably almost a decade ago. Anyhow, I think without uh, further ado, I'll uh, open this up and uh, pour it out to make an assessment of it. So let's uh, crack this uh, open here, it's a twist top, and I'll uh, pour it out into this uh, ice cold pilsner glass. Alright. Okay. Let's make a uh, assessment uh, of the appearance. Uh, well, the appearance is uh, a very hazy, a very hazy golden yellow, well, a very hazy pale golden yellow colour. Or you could also, you know, describe it as quite cloudy. Um, yeah, there's a lot of sediment in there. I don't know if you can uh, see that, whether the camera's capturing that. It's quite carbonated too, but... Uh, yeah, I mean, it uh, still does look uh, awful good, and uh, yeah, there's, well, a very minimal amount of head there. Um, yeah, that's quickly dissipating, uh, less than one finger, in fact. Alright, but uh, let's make an assessment uh, of the aroma now. Hmm. Well, what I'm picking up is, um, I guess, a very uh, herbal, citrusy, uh, yeasty, aroma that uh, yeah smells quite pleasant and uh, does compel one to dive straight in so on that note cheers to you all mm. oh. okay well um, you like the nose um, yeah, that flavour characteristic does, uh, you know, continue on, um, you know, in the actual, um, you know, drink. Um, yeah, the, um, well, there's, there's definitely a sweet, uh, you know, maltiness uh, to it. Um, there's definitely a sweet maltiness, uh, you know, in the taste and, uh, you know, some nice, you know, hot bitterness there and, um, you're definitely tasting, you know, that citrus and, you uh, you know, those, uh, you know, herbal, I guess those, that, that herbal sort of flavour must come from the hops. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, overall it's very, you know, a very pleasant, uh, well-balanced flavour. Um, yeah, and uh, it's also, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, easily a very sessionable, uh, drinkable uh, beer. Um, yeah, to me it's sort of like a milder version of uh, Sierra Nevada Pale Ale. It's not like a you know, real hop explosion when you drink it, it's, uh, yeah, more sort of, uh, you know, has a more sort of, uh, subtle sort of, uh, you know, flavour to it, uh, that perhaps could give it, you know, a bit more, uh, you know, uh, in, in term, you know, well, make it a little bit more drinkable, like, as well, but uh, I'd certainly say this is, uh, yeah, like a really good, uh, you know, session beer, uh, it's probably not up there with, you know, your lagers or pilsners, but, uh, yeah, it's still certainly, uh, you know, up there and does rate highly uh, in that regard. Um, anyway, I do need to gulp a little bit more of this. Hmm. Hmm. It does go down awful well on a day like today. Alright, so what would I give it in terms of a rating out of 10? Um, I'd be inclined to give... Uh, Cooper's original pale ale, uh, 7.5 out of 10. Alright, so uh, yeah, I think that's a fair assessment. Anyway, until next time, um, cheers to you all.